So to kick this episode off, I'm going to buy some super ranging potions and some prayer renewals. Because I want to start doing some QBD. Now QBD will be the most... It will, it'll be the most stable money I'll be getting throughout the entire series. Um, Frost Dragons are also very stable money. Um, but QBD is probably a bit more profitable than Frost Dragons. But um, I want to be upgrading to extreme ranging potions very shortly. So I can get more kills per hour and make more money per hour. So that's the goal at the moment. So when I'm doing QBD, I find it... Um, a lot more efficient to well, I, I believe I'll find it a lot more efficient to use extreme ranging potions. So I bought myself about 22 super ranging pots and some Grimmel spikes, and I'm gonna quickly make some extreme ranging potions so I can head back to QBD and get a lot more kills and make a bunch more money. Um, but that's what we've done so far, and I'll show you guys, you know, beginning because this is gonna be episode three, um, and I'm currently streaming right now. So uh, this is kind of I'm speaking to streaming people and I'm speaking to people watching the YouTube video. Um, but basically, I'm going to show you guys quickly my bank um, once I've created all of these uh, green, uh, all of these extreme ranging potions. But quickly, if I run into my bank um, here, I've basically got my battle stars, which I bought today. Um, some runes. Now, the 80k air runes and the 1k cosmics are not a part of the series. I bought about 200 cosmics and a couple of hundred air runes. I've got the pack yaks. Everything else seems to be legit. And I've got my massive pouch, uh, shark, just basic stuff. So I've got my only five of these are legit as well. Um, everything else is pretty much legit. And I'm making a bit of progress. I've also got um, an armor helmet, uh, the Royal Crossbow, which I paid about 1.1 mil for, and my Dragon Main Bolts, and my 6 Age Circuit, and, you know, and my Dragon Raider Amulet, which is about 500k. So that's what I'm up to in this series. Um, I'm at this stage. I'm just doing some QBD, uh, but I do eventually want to get the. Um, I do eventually want to get. I eventually want to get 1k uh, Frost Dragon Bones. That's just a goal I want to set throughout the series and hopefully achieve full Armadil. Um, that's kind of a side goal I want to do throughout the series. Um, but that's basically what I'm doing right now. Okay, so this is one of the. This is another daily I'm going to be doing. And a massive thank you to Duke's Legend, the one and only, and as well as this bush here. Um, he inspired this little uh, little thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is quickly buy the yaks, and you can actually make about 600 kgp by doing this once a day. So that's a very good method. I'm going to be collecting these every single day. Uh, you, it's it costs you 50 kgp, and you sell them for about 600k. Um, so I'm going to be doing this every single day until I get, I don't know, until I have a ton of them and I can sell them all for bank. And then yeah, so that's another little thing you can be doing every day to make some money. Uh, Duke's legend is Sanji, if you guys didn't actually know, he has no life outside of RuneScape, and, uh, yeah, he wants to say hello to you guys on YouTube, and he's also a cow, so hello Duke legend, and you're in the video. So I'm gonna check for the last time, I think I've got a couple more to buy, yep, four more Yakai's to buy, um, that's a thousand Yakai's bought, it's taken me about ten minutes or so, which is pretty good, and I spent fifty, an overall of around fifty K GP on just buying a thousand and eight, um, 1,008 Yakai, so I'm going to quickly price check these, um, and then let's have a little look how much I've got. So I spent 50k, so that's 640k there, so I made out 600k in 10 minutes, which is damn good if you ask me. I think it's like 36 or 3.6 mil per hour or something like that, I don't know. Um, one of those two. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty good money, and you guys should adopt this method. I'll be doing this every single day until I achieve the dry gourds, uh, maybe beyond. But yeah, getting yakides is a damn good way of making money every single day. So where I live in Australia, at 10 a.m. every single day, um, everything resets on the game. So it's I'm 10, I'm t plus 10 GMT. Um, so basically, every single day at 10 o'clock. Um, in the morning, I'll be able to do some more, more daily dungeoneering challenges, and I can do all my dailies once again. So I'm going to kick my first daily off with dungeoneering today. Um, I've got 445k dungeoneering experience since I started the series, and um, if you missed um, why I'm doing dungeoneering, as soon as I hit 2 million dungeoneering experience, that's when I'm going to unlock the ability to use my first chaotic weapon, and then uh, you know once I'll do that, I'm, I may do another uh, million dungeoneering experience to either get an offhand chaotic, or I can do another 2 million experience to get another uh, main hand chaotic. But that's the goal at the moment. Um, at this stage, I kind of want a chaotic spear. No, not a chaotic spear. A chaotic um, staff, so I can go kill ganodermic beaches. And um, you know, if you guys have any sort of suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Um, but what chaotic you guys think I should get. But I'm, I'm going to quickly complete this, and then I might do sinkholes. Maybe not um, at 10.30, but I might do them at 11.30 or 12.30, because that reset, there's a bunch of people that do sinkholes, and it makes everything just lag. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now, and then I'm also going to make my way down to Herbal Habitat, and then get myself some uh, Juju Farming Potions so I can build, begin the uh, the herb the herb run grind. There we are. That's another uh, 178k. 
Dungeon Hearing Experience, one step closer to get my uh, chaotic. So when I was editing the first episode of the Drawback to Drygo series, I figured um, I didn't actually know how much money I made off the first uh, Battlestar um, lot that I sold. I, made, I managed to make about 84, 86k, I think it was. Um, so every single um, transaction, I make uh, 80, 86k, I believe it was. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to teleport to the Lunar Island and then buy another 20 more from Baba Yaga. So that's 100 battle staffs. And I believe it's like, um, it's about 90 to 95k profit or something like that, uh, which is pretty decent, you know. Uh, it's actually, it's more like 100k profit, to be honest. But uh, the thing I want to be doing now after I do these dailies is get stuck into herbal habitat, like I said in like one of the previous clips. And that's because I want to get started on doing my uh, herb runs. Now, it is really important that you have your... Um, where are the battles? Oh, some kids already been here and buying the battle stars. Unless that was me, that was probably me actually. Oh, but yeah, like I was saying, I really need the um the juju farming potions for farm runs because um when I was doing the farm runs with just the aura and um you know with the magic secretaries and stuff, I wasn't nearing the yield I would be getting with the juju farming potions. So I'm actually losing money by doing that. I would not lose your money. I'm I'm um losing the potential to gain more money so I'm, I'm making less money which I would be getting with the juju farming potions essentially so I'm going to try and uh, get this real quick and I've also cleaned out my bank or the majority of my bank I've also I've, like I've sold all my um sold all of my PKing tab pretty much my PBM tab is just empty we've got the junk tab which has always been junk um, I haven't touched this tab I've sold all my runes. Well, not all, not. I've put them all in my alternate account. Um, so I've got no more runes or anything here. Um, I could sell the ring of wealth, but I don't see. A, I don't see where I'm going to use the ring of wealth. Um, the ring of slang is another thing I probably could be using. Um, but you know, I'll see about that. I've reduced my potion tab quite significantly. I've put my extremes, the ones that I, I had before the series, I put them in the flasks version, and I've also evened up all of the numbers of my other, all my other potions, so I know how many exactly, like how many potions I've actually made um, throughout the series. So that's a nice little attribute I've done to the bank. My skilling tab, I've kind of cleared out a lot of the stuff. Um, you know, sold all my ores, got rid of my. I should get rid of the planks really, but um. Made my juju farming potions into flasks, and made my juju hunter potions into flasks, and I've evened out all the seeds and stuff like that. I should probably just get rid of these two, and maybe five shengos or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I've evened out all the seeds and the herbs just so I know exactly how many, um, you know, how many seeds I acquired during the series. And then my first tab is just, you know, just as it was before. So that's what that's currently what I'm doing. Um, my tab is looking quite nice. I've obviously got some Lantodime, Torstals, Onyx Bolts, done a little bit of QBD. I've been mainly focusing on Frost Dragons though because it's my main source of income at the moment and it's the most AFK and the easiest thing for me to get cash, especially with the gear setup that I have. So that's what I'm up to at the moment and I'll probably uh, check back with you shortly. So that's another 50 potion flasks um, done. That's another 200k profit. I'm um, doing this every day as well as all the other things. Um, probably get me like 1.5 mil profit every single day just from doing like little things. Um, I believe I, that's a really, really rough guess. I'll give you some sort of figures in the future when I get when I get more, um, you know, when I get used to doing all these dailies and things because I'm not used to doing all these dailies. Um, they're definitely worth doing, but I'm not used to doing them. So hopefully in the next couple of episodes, I'll be able to give you some sort of rundown on everything that I do every day and like the herb runs, which I'm going to be doing every 90 minutes and um, tell you how much profit I'll be making like that and give you some sort of uh, statistics. Now, I did not know you can buy GG Spirit... Um, you just buried bags here, so I'm just going to quickly buy a bunch of these and then bank them all. That's nice and convenient, but um, until I get my Witch Doctor mask back, because I did drop my Witch Doctor mask, and uh, that's kind of an inconvenience, but to get the Witch Doctor mask, all I've got to do is um, catch all the three Godjadinkos, and to do that, I need a Juju Hunter potion. So my next goal is to get the uh, Juju Hunter potion. You June Seed, you need to stay alive. Good luck. In before dead. And my first You June Seed died. <laughs> So I've got my first thousand favor points. I'm going to time to withdraw all my rewards, cash all these uh, bad boys in, and hopefully collect me some Urzil and Eugene seeds. If I don't get a single one, I'm going to be really mad. Uh, seeds, teleport bags. There we go. Uh, two Eugene seeds, and we've got. We didn't get a single Urzil. Oh, we did. There we go. I would have been really, really angry this time, but we got uh, one Urzil seed and two Eugene seeds. So hopefully that these do not die, um, and we're going to go plant these bad boys and um. Get us some hunter potions, and then uh, do some more favor points, and get us some more uh, get us some more herbal habitat seeds. So here's the uh, first seed that I'm going to plant. Start with the uh, actually I'm going to start with the Urzil seed um, because I really want that one to survive. So that's going to be planted, and now time to go over the little um, over the vine over here and use the second batch 
to uh, plant the other seed, my other Eugen seed, and um, we'll see, you know, hopefully this one survives as well. Good luck, Eugen scene. I wish you all the best on your survival journey, and I hope to see you on the other side. There's the first sinkhole done. I got a medium dungeoneering lamp, which is a 100k experience. I'm going to do the second sinkhole and tell you guys how I go. I'm going to use a reversing phoenix because that guy called him a f uh, I use this protecting titan. <laughs> I messed up. Well, I didn't get any XP for that one at all, so that was an absolute fail. Got it just in the nick of time, the Urzils, the disease, and I'm going to quickly kill the plant. Uh, that's going to save me a lot of time. So I'm about to go and check if my herbal habitat stuff is still alive. Hopefully they are. I'll be very, very happy if they do um, survive, you know, everything that they've gone through. Um, so I'm going to see if I can replant anything. I think, yeah, I got an extra Eugene seed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 151. So, um, you know, subtracting the one, subtracting the 150 from the one, that's how many I actually have. So I only have one Eugene seed. One Eugene seed left from doing the curly roots. But I'm going to make my way back down. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. I need, I need to get my aura. I'll be back. I need to increase my chance of yield and increase my chance of survival at any cost because um, this is the early days and, you know, it's, it's crucial that you master everything, um, you know, through the early stages because you don't want to be um, wasting any time at the beginning because it's more of an exponential growth when it comes to series like this. You begin really, really slowly and then you make your way up, um, make your way up and you'll end up making quite a bit more money towards the end. Um, so the first one seems to be alive because I did... I did save it from being diseased, so I'm going to quickly use my Master Greenfingers aura, and I'm going to wear my Magic Secretaries. I, I'm pretty sure there's in some patch notes, um, Jagex released that you don't actually have to wear your um, Magic Secretaries for them to be of, of of effect, but I'm just going to wear them anyway just in case I can glitch the system and get billions and billions of yield. That was a very successful first herb um, yields, that's seven, you do, no, what was that, seven, um, seven herbs, so that's 700 potions, I'm going to be using that to, um, get some more seeds, and then I'll, um, yes, and this is the Eugene as well, so that's my first batch of, uh, Juju farming potions made, and, uh, let's see how many, uh, let's see what the yield is on this. Now, let's see if I can beat seven herbs with my mud battle staff, as opposed to magic secretaries in my hand. Is this moment here that's going to determine whether I'm going to wear my mud battle staff or my magic secretaries for the rest of my farm runs. Here we go. Yes, that's it. Eight. Look at this. This is this is very, very good. So I'm going to be using the mud battle staff. Yeah. Oh, and I just remembered I don't even have a seed to plant. But, you know, the at least the um, patch is nice and moist for when I come back and plant some more seeds. So to make the juju farming potions, I need to use Eugene, like clean Eugene's with the uh, marble vines, like the marble vine is the secondary ingredient. So that's what I'm working on now, just catching some igneous judinkos out of the herbal habitat to um, give me some marble vines and then I should be back when I'm making some her um, some juju farming potions and then we can get ready to do some herb lore, or some, not some herb lore, some herb runs. Now that is a beautiful sight.